welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where today this one's going to be a little bit different because a lot of you may be aware I have a racing simulator which is uh, very very cool and recently I've not been uploading as much as I should do with it and a lot of questions have been coming in where is your sim what's been going on we quite enjoyed those videos and now you suddenly just stopped making them. Well, today you're going to find out a lot more about that because I've just arrived at Vasaro Racing Simulators down at near Maidstone because these are the guys. I have one of these in my apartment. I have a Vasaro Sim. It is awesome. I loved making videos of it, but recently... I've been moving apartments. I haven't had the chance to make the content as much as I wanted to with it, but don't worry, it is all coming back to the channel very, very shortly once I've moved into my uh, new flat. I've come down to Vasaro because I'm going to be upgrading my sim. So what you saw before in terms of uh, I have a direct drive uh, which comes out which gives you uh, like the better feel. I've got racing pedals. I've got all the top 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 uh, stuff on a sim is all on my one. Uh, but today we're going to upgrade it and adding different stuff to it. So this is really exciting and it feels like Christmas uh, because I get the chance to upgrade my sim. These sims are um, pricey, it depends. You can start from entry level to top. My one's kind of like the top of the range um, and I just wanna make content with it. I wanna do loads more. Now that I'm back racing, it allows me to make racing content from my uh, new apartment and bring it all to you all. When you come in here, visits by appointment only, you're in, and then you're in to what I think is the coolest place ever. It is amazing in here. You have all the different kind of sims. We'll talk about all the different ones as well. We have a couple of customer ones here. This one, could that be an option? Could that be an option? <laughs> It wouldn't fit my flat. There's something which we need to talk about with this uh, in a second. But I'm going to take you through the different stuff and what is in here. But as you can see through here also, we have different things that we can do to upgrade the sim as well. Shifter. We could add things like that. We can add things to my rig in terms of like a handbrake and a shifter. And as you can see just here, all this stuff adds on. And there you go. I think that is actually a handbrake just there. Different steering wheels. I'll take you through different steering wheels. These are not compatible with my one. I'll show you the ones which actually are, but you can add different things. And then, the, as you can see, just here as well. One of them is uh, potentially motion, because I do think motion could be uh, really good. Now that I'm back racing, I need to get the feeling of the car underneath me. And what motion does is when you turn into a corner, it allows you to feel on your buttocks what the car is doing. So if you're turning in and you can feel, and that's where the majority of feeling when you're racing a car all comes from there. Uh, because then that's when you feel understeer and you also feel oversteer. So that's what that is. More to be explained on that front. Something like this is not gonna be coming to my apartment, put it that way. Uh, because uh, yeah, even more kind of items which go to on show and all that, but you can buy one of these, uh, quite pricey, but they are, they do different things, which is very, very cool. The sort of thing that you see at a show, but you can buy one. If you want one of these in your apartment, you can have one of these in your apartment. Don't get me wrong. Uh, that's what you can have. And what is on here, and this is an option for the upgrade, and we are going to have a go on it, and this is VR. A lot of you guys at home said to me, Archie, we want you to do VR, because then we can actually see what you're seeing through your eyes on virtual reality. So what I'm seeing through there, then overlays onto this screen as well. So when I'm doing this at home and I'm live stream, which I will be doing, you will see what I'm seeing through there and it will be coming through your screens, what I'm seeing. So that's quite a good way of getting you guys more involved and you getting a more a chance to see what that's all about. So I will be going on there in just a second. It's very cool VR um, as well. Other options we have to upgrade, uh, I can add uh, another wheel, I can add different things like that. And I just, yeah, I want to bring this content back. I do think, now that I'm back racing, we can just add something to 
you know, to it all. I definitely think we can do it. Um, live streams, you name it, it's all gonna be coming back. It's the perfect preparation. So let me show you what my simulator is and how mine potentially will look in like three, four weeks time. So this is actually very similar to my simulator. What's different is that the screens are bigger on here. I live in an apartment, I don't have room for those big screens um, and I have it more closer. But the actual rig is uh, similar to mine and everything you see on here can be added to my simulator as well, which is amazing. So for mine, I don't have these back here, which I'll explain in a second. I have this part and also this part. So that's kind of what I have. And then I have the steering wheel the same as that, but I don't have this and I also don't have this. Well. What can happen is, and we can make it happen, the guys can come to my flat and they can sort this out, and that is adding motion. So what you can see here is right there, and right there, can get added to there, and then the seat belts, these pull you when you brake, so you can feel the full braking force as well, and that can all be added to my sim, which I think is awesome. I just think that's so cool how they can just come and they can just add that. Your different braking balances, you can do all sorts and that is all on this sort of pad to your left. You can set these buttons to how you want. Actually add like a gear shifter, which can go like here. All these four different posts here, they are all for motion. It's mad that I can have a simulator moving around in my flat. I mean, that's just insane. All about getting that real experience. Um, and the fact is, one a story which I do need to tell you is Rob, who is one of the main guys here, um, he was saying that they have a guy uh, who's not to be named, but he has been uh, learning to become a racing driver. He bought a motion simulator. He just lived on it and he just went round and round and round, different tracks, different games. Um, and now he's racing professionally this year after spending a year, like, year sort of racing on his sim. And he, all he does is thank these guys because he's had the motion and he got in a real car and he could really overlay what he'd been sort of learning at home which is actually what I want to bring to you all because you can sort of get a proper feel for that as well so that's what I really want to bring but what an amazing story I love stories like that one thing which I want to show you which is in here and this is the steering wheel because this steering wheel comes off just like this and what I'm thinking and what is an option is that this might be the new wheel for my sim. The technology that goes into these wheels are amazing. Honestly, like all the little dials that you have just here, which you can just play with. So when I'm doing uh, my streaming to you all and when I'm practicing on my racing circuits and everything, this is a full on racing wheel and I can set all the different buttons to what I want. Um, and I also get a little dash which comes here. So then that allows me to see my uh, split times, my uh, what my braking bias is and everything, my gears, and I get that in front of me on a screen just there. So you can actually add this steering wheel to a simulator. So let's say this is my simulator over here. Da -dum -da -dum -dum -da. I could literally, very nice wheel you got on there, sir, but um, I'm going to put this on there. So then that will then go on there and then I get a different type wheel and I get a screen on that wheel as well. So you can add different stuff and that's what I really like about these sims. You can have a wheel like this which is more kind of off something like a Formula 2, Formula 1 car type thing and you can add it to there. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a go on the uh, motion so you can see it, see how I'm moving around and everything and then uh, you'll decide whether this is an option for me. Um, but yeah. And, oh yeah, I've not told you, uh, I'm actually going to be having a go in the Porsche GT4 Club Sport car which I'm racing this year. So this is actually the first time I've had a go in this car on a simulator. So the guys have sorted it out, so very proud of them. Um, so yeah, you can see this moving around, but it is just cool. Wait till you see the motion, because this is the feeling which I'm going for.
So motion is the same. Basically, I just shunted it, yes. But uh, you can just feel every single bump, and that's a different experience here. Every single bump in the road, and the brake when you brake and you feel it when it melts. And what I'm going for is just cool to see that. Uh, but you just, it just feels like you're in a real racing car. It's like, it's a different experience. Time to me to see the VR, see if we'll add that to the sim as well. This VR is just sick. Um, look at this, this is moving as well. Oh my god, wow. The sorrow are not messing about. But look at this. So he's looking at it through his eyes, just there. But then look on here. That's what he's seeing exactly what he's seeing so I can bring that to a stream as well because <laughs> look at this the suspension's going mad all because of that F1 car around the nur shorter Nürburgring track but what is going on in there it is bringing full experience and he basically feels that he's there oh this is literally like real life I actually feel like I'm in an F1 car and my hands aren't there I've just walked out of the Saro and oh my god that was insane I cannot wait to upgrade my sim I hope you enjoyed that video because honestly to get the chance to feel the motion I think we're 99% sure that motion is coming to my sim um, that's gonna happen in the next couple of weeks and VR is coming as well but the biggest thing is motion and the belts because what I felt there I really felt like a racing car underneath me all the little bumps feeling it in the GT4 club so it's gonna be my race car this year so that's gonna be cool to bring this content back to you in terms of that motion all that so different and all the different tracks all the different things that we can do and what I want to do when the sun comes back is do a pure comparison in terms of um, my racing car and then comparing it to the sim as well we can definitely do that in terms of lap times and you name it we're going to do it so I hope you're buzzing for this different kind of content it's coming back and we're just going to have awesome fun the guys here at Vasaro they're smashing it at the moment make sure you check them out obviously like I mentioned you can start from entry level sim so you can start from anything from uh, just entry level and build it up so you don't have to have all the stuff which I've got on mine but if you're looking for like something to improve your driver training or anything get in touch with the guys here they will look after you they even come out to your house to fit it like they're coming to fit that come out to my flat to fit the motion to it and it all gets sorted it's amazing and I'm I'm so excited I've got the biggest smile on my face I've had the best day ever I hope you guys have enjoyed this there's going to be lots coming up and I cannot wait I'm going to head home now on the yellow mobile don't forget to go guys if you haven't already and I'll see you all very soon